Either arena players found a way to gain crazy amounts of AP in a short amount of time, but how did they do it? And will Respawn ever care about this problem? Find out more in this video, so like and sub, let's get into it. So I talked a lot about the problems happening in the Battle Royale side of Apex Legends, but a game mode that seems to have a lot of problems that nobody speaks about is arenas. And the fact that not many big streamers play arena is the reason why these problems almost never get acknowledged by Respawn. There is a dedicated community that plays arena, but there really isn't that much big names in that community. And recently a problem they have been talking about is called crossplay exploit. So the exploit is when you deactivate crossplay so that you have a higher chance at versing your friends that are willing to let you win in arenas. And this lets you gain a lot of AP very fast. The reason why people want to do this depends on the MMR that you have. If you have the highest MMR, whenever you win a match, you gain a small amount of arena points, I believe it's 12 AP. And some people would rather move up the leaderboards faster by using this exploit. And the tricky thing about calling people out for using this exploit is, you really can't get any in-game evidence on them because you would somehow have to be in that same lobby with them. But one way you could find out if someone is using the crossplay exploit is by going to websites that show you Apex Legends data, one of them being Apex Legends status for an example. So let's look at this guy who is currently being accused of crossplay exploiting. If we look at the length of his matches, you can see that he is consistently playing in these short matches and winning most of them. He is also losing a couple matches here and there, but that could be for multiple reasons. I remember a while back when Arena's ranked first came out, people would lose a couple matches here and there on purpose whenever they reach maximum MMR so that they their MMR could decrease and they could gain more arena points per match. I'm not sure if that's how it works today, but let me know if you're an arena player if that's how it is today. But having crossplay off is suspicious because it pretty much just makes your queue times longer. But at the same time, it could be argued that a team on console wouldn't want to play with crossplay on because of hackers in arenas. But regardless, finishing a match in 4 minutes, 2 minutes consistently, that's going to be suspicious. And I feel like this is one of those situations where there really isn't anything that Respawn could do to stop people from getting into the same match. But there is a couple things they could do to make it harder for them to get into the same lobby. I know that Respawn is going to be region locking servers sometime soon, but it's only going to be for Master slash Apex Predator lobbies. Region lock servers has its pros and cons because we do know some servers have more cheaters than other servers. So if they got region locked, that would help out a lot. But I'm pretty sure if these people are willing to cheat or use hacks, they can easily just download a VPN. But that's a story for another day. We also know that people switch to lower populated servers so they could queue into the same match with their friends, whether it be in Battle Royale or Arena. Which is what these crossplay exploiters are currently doing. They switch to a low populated server and turn crossplay off, so that 9 times out of 10, the people they queue against are going to be their friends. And if they don't get into a match with their friends, they'll be thrown into a match with low ranked people. Kind of what people are doing with Sao Paulo servers on Battle Royale. But we do know the team over at Respawn has a lot of ways to look at the data and to tell if a person is cheating or not. It's just a matter of getting them to acknowledge that this is a big problem in the community. Hopefully there will be a band wave coming up soon, but for now we don't even know if they know about this problem. But hopefully in the future they will find out about this and then do whatever they can to stop it. And yeah, that's it for this video. Let me know if I missed out on a couple interesting things about this exploit. And yeah, that's it. I'm out. Peace.